Well, I'm, I'm currently the uh, chairman of the Heartland Partnership, uh, the parent company for all the family of economic development corporations, um, such as the EDC and the Chamber, the CEO uh, Roundtable. Uh, I've chosen, I'm a, I'm a passionate believer that uh, the vibrancy of a community is really built around economic development. And if you've got strong economic development, uh, your schools are going to be better, people working, your social programs are better, uh, you have a, a, a higher quality of life. So I, I think that's the key way to, uh, to make an impact uh, on a community. So uh, I've been involved with uh, a division of the Heartland Partnership since uh, I came to town 11 and a half years ago. Well, as chairman of the Heartland Partnership for the coming year, uh, I, what I really want to focus on is making sure that we have a, a, a let me call it a, a Heartland Regional Plan. Um, you know, we've had such great success over the last 10 years. I think what's critically important is that there's a 10-year plan, and again, for lack of a better name, I'll call it the Heartland Regional Plan. Uh, I think we need to build on the, the tremendous success of that over billion dollars of construction and development. We now need to continue that. We need to leverage what we've done, and, and I think we need to outline for the community and the region what those key projects and, and key next steps are going to be. Uh, and th this community needs to understand, and I think they do to some extent, but we need to continue to sell ourselves in a, uh, and what we do. But these things didn't happen haphazardly. I mean, uh, uh, there's been a plan to build this region, and, uh, and I think the community understands that, but those, that 10 years over, what's, what are we going to do the next 10 years? So I think it's incumbent upon me as the current chair uh, to find a, a way to, to get all of our leaders in this community, leaders in the Heartland Partnership uh, companies, to come together and prioritize what we're going to be doing the next 10 years, communicate that and get this community galvanized about what we're going to look like in 2020, like we did in 2000, what we're going to do in 10 years. Uh, when you look at the zoo, uh, the, uh, the expansion of the Civic Center, uh, O'Brien Field, built the block, the Caterpillar experience with, with the uh, Peoria Riverfront Museum, with what's going on at Bradley, you know, Methodist, uh, OSF St. Francis. Uh, man, it's hard not to see that all the opportunities that we can leverage in the next 10 years. So uh, as you look at our future, I'm pretty excited. I think we just need to frame it up like we did 10 years ago and, uh, and begin to see it through. And, you know, when you look at the leadership of the Heartland Partnership and its companies, the board leadership, the community leadership, uh, you know, we've had a lot of stability and we've built a lot. And even though there's been change, uh, the people that have come in to replace some of those uh, leaders that we had 10 years ago are still contributing their traditions, which is getting involved and making an impact and doing what they can to see that the quality of life uh, that this community enjoys will continue to improve. And so it's a, it's a great time to be, uh, despite uh, some national challenges, uh, we have a lot to build on here and something that uh, we all should be very proud of.